Good morning and welcome to our Facebook Live this morning. My name's jo Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in Brackley in the UK. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. It's the 1st of November. Goodness me, I can't believe where October has got to. I can't believe where the year has got to and I think a lot of people feel um, exactly the same so um, but there we go first of November we are it's a Monday morning and we have a new stamp set to play with today it's called celebrate with flowers as you can see I'll bring that out of the light and I bought this stamp set because it has this lovely vertical happy birthday and I bought it in the recent sale so we had a sale um, about two weeks ago might have even been three weeks ago for the cling stamp set so that's the red rubber stamp sets that were in the annual catalogue so when these things come up I always look for in particular sentiment sets um, that I haven't yet purchased and I bought a couple of really great sentiment sets that had lots of different um, sets on there but this one I had my eye on for a while for a vertical happy birthday now we used to have a set that had vertical images morning Kerry or evening Kerry I should say um, but that retired a while ago and as far as I know and um, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong this is the only vertical stamp that we have in the catalogue morning Tracy I'm very good thank you and I hope you are too so um, I purchased this one and I do love this design here so I'm going to be using uh, this one for the first couple of days of this week I'm going to start with just stamping the images to see what they look like. I have actually put the labels on the back. When I got all of my new stamp sets in, I um, <coughs> sat in front of the television labelling them up. Um, it's always a good job to get that done if you can. And so I'm going to stamp these out first. And then my chosen colours for today are Gorgeous Grape and granny apple green and I'm just going to do a simply stamped card and in my mind I'm going to have the flowers on either side and the happy birthday down the center that's the plan so let's just do a little bit of stamping while people hop on board morning Catherine right get there so for those of you that um, take my class in a box finally I can tell you that the videos are going up I think I'm up to video six um, maybe seven and the rest will be finished and loaded up today so apologies for the delay and um, the remainder of the boxes um, have also all gone out today well they went well they were posted at the post office yesterday afternoon so I'm just going to load these up I think I might need one more block but let's pop that one on there like so it's got quite um sort of art deco feel about it I guess um, or art nouveau just with these lines and everything so I hope everybody had a nice weekend so that's on my card this is just for my stamping so my chosen colours are granny apple green gorgeous grape and potentially early espresso so let's start with the foliage images so we've got two of those and I'm going to take the ink pad to the stamp as it's quite a large long stamp and that's quite easy to um, ink it up um, unevenly so here we go 
there we go that's that one and then this this one here so i hope everybody had a nice weekend the weather was completely bizarre it was some um, throwing rather a gale on um, uh, Sunday morning wasn't it Sunday morning morning Wendy thanks for joining us I hope you're well so let's put the little flowers up here so you can use the different flower heads onto here there's no dies for this it's just pure stamping but you could easily fussy cut some of these elements out we have these little um, pieces here I'll take my glasses off I can see what I'm doing there we go not quite central but you get the idea then we have this dragonfly oh Wendy bless you there is a lot of horrible things going around never mind covid so let's hope that it is just a little virus that you're fighting off okay that's that one and then we've got a sentiment which says may your day be filled with sunshine which is really sweet i am going to try and get it straight on my block though I'm going to stamp this one in espresso just to see how it goes with the others and then I've got the vertical sentiment as well so it's called celebrate with flowers I got a bit carried away with my inking there it's caught the edge of the stamp um, pop this up here May your day be filled with sunshine. And then finally we've got the happy birthday. And I do like to stamp these long stamps in a horizontal position. It's much better than trying to do it at an angle with your um, hands. Well, it is for me anyway. Good morning, Jeanette. I hope you're well and had a good weekend. Okay, let's have a look and see. No, I haven't seen you on my live for ages, Wendy, so it's really lovely to catch you. Okay, so <coughs> excuse me, so those are the images stamped out. It's a nice clear happy birthday so let me just wipe these stamps down and I'm going to I think I'm going to do this and then maybe this at the top if I can or I could put the little daisy at the top so I'm just going to wipe these down When you stamp these out, it gives you a good opportunity to see if there's any areas that you might struggle with stamping. Um, so I found it really easy to catch the edge of a couple of these. So it's a good idea to, if you can stamp them out, also it gives you a better feel for what they look like. And I know it sounds silly. Um, and, you know, obviously it is like that. But when you stamp it, you just get a different view on it with ink. Um, that's all you probably think I'm completely mad and also the fact that you've inked them up means you're more likely to use them <laughs> hey ho so let's give this a go so sorry my arm is right in the way there so my feeling is I want to do this on either side and my happy birthday in the middle so I need to allow space for the flower at the top so I'm actually going to I'm actually going to stamp my happy birthday in the middle 
So I'm just going to have that on the side like that so that I can stamp easily. It's much easier to hold that way. And that way I can get my birthday central and then I will I can move the flowers around accordingly. And I think I'm going to stamp this in early espresso. Um, having said that, this one hasn't got a great deal of ink, but let's see. Sorry if that's out of your line of sight. I'm a bit croaky <laughs> from <laughs> recording other videos yesterday. Okay. Right, let's see. So I'm going to put this, I think, in the middle, in the middle. <laughs> so central, horizontally and vertically. Well, as good as I'm going to get anyway. There we go. And I um, had some ideas on using this either on die cuts but also with some nice borders on either side so I'll be using some of our borders dies tomorrow because um, obviously this is perfect for doing a border with the happy birthday down the side so that's that's what's in my mind we'll see whether that comes to fruition or not okay so I'm going to use granny apple green for this here so both of these colors are from our brights collection so let's ink this up okay so I know that I need to I want to leave space for the flower because I'm going to put the flower on the top I want to make sure that I'm sort of further because if I put it exact to that then my flower is going to be almost off the top of the card so let's give this a go so I'm just going to bring this down rather experimental but we'll see okay I reckon I'll get away with that This almost looks like it could be oriental as well, with a sort of um, slightly bamboo look. There we go. So I'm just lining this one up roughly with that one. that's worked could have been a little bit further over I'll see how we go now this would be great on the stamparatus thinking about it because you could guarantee that it was directly in line um, and I think actually a line of those would be quite um, impressive so there's another idea that I might put into place. Okay. Now, which flower head are we going to have? I could just have this simple little daisy on either side. Ooh, dimensional backing. And obviously you could put um, sort of daisies on the edges as well. Or I could have this flower here. Um, what do you reckon? I'm feeling indecisive this morning. Obviously, because it's um, red rubber, you can't see through to line it up exactly. We could put daisies like that, although I haven't really left enough space to put one on this side. I suppose you could have it layered over. Let's try the daisy at the top and see how we get on. Oh, 
this one needs re-inking as well I can see that so you could choose to have it either I lift this up so you can see it better just sort of sitting on the top or you could attach it to this little um, sort of flower um, leaf there it's up to you there that's got more ink and I could do this in a different color as well just going to stick with the uh, colors that I've got so I've got those two there the question is do I add any more I could put one there and one there or leave it as it is let's have a look but I haven't left myself much space so I, I could put the dragonfly in uh, dragonfly in there that looks a bit odd at the bottom doesn't it I'm going to try it just felt <coughs> excuse me just felt a little bit bare with just um, the daisy at the top there we go perfect I'm happy with that while I've got this out I'm going to stamp the inside layer is that the right size which it is so I will do the same just with one on the right hand side. I think. Sorry, I know that's off your off the frame. Um just gonna have this a bit less of a stalk, so it's just coming off the right hand side there see that's on there and then the flowers and then I might add the dragonfly inside There's that one or I could have used actually that little small um, leaf inside would have looked nice as well wouldn't it hey ho now I've got to put three on really have that little dragonfly added in there we go and then I'm going to add the sentiment may your day be filled with sunshine here and just to tie this in I'm going to do that in early espresso again I hope you all have a nice day ahead planned. Let's have a look. Yes. <laughs> I was looking at the stamp and I it's straight on there but not on there. Let me just see. I'll do a little bit of a cheat. Oh, okay, Jeanette, thank you. It was a bit wonky. I should have looked at the block because I knew it was straight on the block. But obviously, um, I've put my 
sticker on slightly haphazardly see if that will work so the good thing about stamping onto a circle is you can just rotate it to get it straight so that's going to go onto there so I'm just going to do that with some um, wet glue rather than on anything with dimension and I think I could put some little gems in those flowers as well on the front so this is my inside I could have turned it over and stamped it but there just happened to be a circular die cut right in front of me So it's a nice sentiment, isn't it? May your day be filled with sunshine. And I think that could be, you could use that inside a wedding card as well, couldn't you? Be quite a nice sentiment for that. Okay, let's layer this up and add some bling. So my plan is, there's gorgeous grape there's granny apple green to tie those in together and then this one on the front so let's layer those down so just a scribble of glue not too close to the edge not too high So you could definitely fussy cut the um, flowers if you wanted to but I think I'm just going to add some bling I need to order some would you believe plain of the um, silver rhinestones I've completely run out and normally I have plenty of those spare for classes and things And I do have the purple ones. They might be a little bit big for these daisies because you think of daisies as being quite delicate. So Tracy, I don't know if you had the um, violent storm on Sunday morning. seems to have been you know quite localized and obviously there's been a lot of flooding unfortunately in um, Scotland and in the south as well southwest okay let's grab some bling for that So ready for um, coffee and card this afternoon in toaster. So I'm looking forward to that. Let's see what I've got. So I do have these, but I just think they're for the daisies. They're oh I don't know. They're too big. But let's have a look. So we've got Petal Pink, Highland Heather. Um, it's like the, well, it's almost a balmy blue. And then Gorgeous Grape. Oh, but they're not too big. Let's, let's splash out. And my pokey tool is in with my class stuff. So... Oh, the bottom of the road was flooded. Hi, Scott. Yes, it was bad around here. It was bad in Toaster as well, which is where Scott is. And um, there was various talk that we'd had a, um, a tornado come through. And certainly from the um, some of the videos and things. 
I could believe that. Am I going to do these all in the same colour? I'm not sure. Let's see. Try the darker ones. So we've got Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grapes. I'm going to use two and one and then alternatives on here. Oh, was it definitely a tornado? So yes, I think it was. Um, it certainly picked things up and threw them around. So there it is, I'm happy with that. So it's um, stamps that we use, Celebrate with Flowers. As I say, I bought it in the sale, bought it with this um, happy birthday in mind because we don't have any vertical sentiments. We did have a great set with the um, topiary, I don't know if you remember, but that was a good few years ago and that had a series of vertical sentiments. Um, so it's nice to see um, that back again. That was new in the catalogue in June. Oh bless Catherine. So Catherine says the road into their village was blocked. Trees were down and the BT cable and a hubby helped someone move one tree so people get in and out. Yeah it was um, yeah very nasty and it was you know I mean I guess it was lucky it was daylight. People could stay in I don't know. Anyway, so there we go. There's our finished card. So very simply stamped. Just use the foliage on either side. The happy birthday. And then I've stamped the daisies. And then the inside, I've added that. I could use some Wink of Stella for the centres here. Added that cute little dragonfly. And then um, covering up my slightly wonky sentiment with a circular die cut. May your day be filled with sunshine. And we definitely have sunshine today. Um, so there's our finished card. I hope you enjoyed that. Nice, short and sweet for a Monday morning. So I'm going to be working with this set um, for the next day or two. It might last all week, I'm not sure. Um, so I've got various ideas. One is to use the Stamparatus, to stamp a whole line of them. And um, one is to use various border dies or stamp this on a die cut. Um, and use obviously some of the other flowers as well and use this little image oh Claydon was closed oh wow Scott was that I guessing that was because of the potential falling trees wasn't it gosh just goes to show doesn't it and I don't think we had a warning of of that stronger wind did we anyway thank you for joining me today I look forward to seeing some of you this afternoon I'll see Scott this afternoon um, at coffee and card in toaster and I'll be back tomorrow, so that'll be the 2nd of November at 7pm here um, for our next Facebook Live. If you missed any from last week, you can catch up just by looking for the live um, button here on Facebook. Or you can hop to my YouTube channel and um, you can look through there. And I do create playlists, so if you wanted to look, for example, at Christmas Designs, just on their own you can look for my Christmas designs um, playlist and um, hop your way through thank you so much for joining me I hope everybody has a good day that you stay safe and well and I look forward to crafting with you again very soon if not this afternoon or tomorrow thank you so much thanks for watching take care everyone and bye for now <laughs>